Hey friends, it's Jordan and Barry here, the Brownstone Boys, and welcome back to Carroll Gardens where we are taking you back inside our project, Carroll Jardin. There has been so much progress since our last vlog update, and we're taking you back inside because the pretty things are about to go inside this house. So we're about halfway through construction, which means all of the big ticket items, all of the uh, ugly stuff and demo is all out of the way. All the uh, rough end stuff and electrical and plumbing is done. And now we get to look at all the beautiful finishes and tile and things that are gonna go in. So we can't wait to show you. Let's check it out. Welcome to Carol Jardin. Come on in. So this looks a lot different than last time we were here. Uh, we totally had to reconstruct this wall, and what you see here now is this three-point arch. So it's kind of a flattened arch, but it still has a really nice radius. And it was really interesting to get this look. It was a lot of work, and it looks beautiful. So here we have our living room and dining room, so everything is all framed out. We have another arch with the same technique leading into the kitchen. It's not going to stay like this, they're just working on the radius right now. And then back here is where we have our kitchen. So we have a really big kitchen in this house. We're going to have a massive island and kitchens along this wall. And then one of the things, one of the key signature design elements of this house are the French doors that are going to be in the back here that are going to open up to the, the backyard. So it's going to be a beautiful view with lots of light coming in through this wall. So this brownstone is narrower than a lot of the ones that we work on. So it's been a really fun design challenge that we have with it. It's about 16 feet wide and about 40 feet deep, and normally they're about 20 feet wide. So you can really feel that difference. So you're gonna see a Parisian inspired design in a lot of places. We have a beautiful light oak wood floor going in. We have these gorgeous graceful arches here. And we have the French doors here in the back as well. You're gonna see ornate moldings going in and the ceiling, ground molding and, and base. And we have picture frame moldings all throughout the house. So you're really gonna get that Parisian apartment kind of feel here. So we just finished our construction meeting and we wanna show you guys a little more of the house. This is Ryan Forrest. He is a designer and project manager on our team and he is leading on this project. So he's gonna show you around a little bit more. All right guys, let's go upstairs and take a look. Unfortunately, very few of the original features have been kept in this brownstone due to the amount of structural work that has to have been done. Uh, luckily, however, the stairway and the windows on the front of the building are all original. Now, if you come into the bathroom here, you can see the leftovers of the issue that we were dealing with. Luckily, our contractor was able to come up with a creative solution, but you can see these joists here running in the direction of the originals. Yeah. And these joists here running perpendicular for no particular reason. But by locating the air conditioning units and the ventilation creatively and reworking some of the existing joists, we were able to bring the ceiling up as high as possible and still incorporate all of the uh, mechanical and ventilation that we wanted. The zellage tile is going to be striped in this direction. It's going to come across the floor, underneath the bathtub, and up this back wall. And the miter is coming into this niche, out, and all the way up to the ceiling. If you follow me this way down the hall, we'll pass the very conveniently located upstairs laundry closet. Amazing. And here, we have the primary bedroom. Wow. So, lots of natural light. The original window trim and shutters are being preserved in here. And we're also going to be adding in uh, original looking crown molding and picture frame molding on the walls all the way around to bring back some of the historical feel that unfortunately we had to remove in many places. Pocket door here, pocket door there. In a space as small as this, we like to make every inch count so if we can eliminate the need to for door swings, then that's a great way to make sure we have enough space to fit everything that we want. Amazing. And for floor, Barry, I know you talked earlier about the tile, the gorgeous tile that's going in here, but are we doing wood in the closet and then tile on the bathroom? Yeah, we're going to transition to the tile right here. So we're going to have, we talked about this today in our, our meeting, we're going to have a marble top on the count of the uh, vanity, which we are mitering up. So it's going to have this nice thick marble.
marble look. And we're gonna use the same marble here on the floor for the threshold and around the entrance to the shower. So we're gonna have a framed shower entrance so with, a, with like a, a glass floor on it. So you'll see that marble there and on the bench. Then we have our beautiful terracotta tile on the floor and all the wall molding um, on the walls in this part of the bathroom. Okay, so one more floor to go, and this is gonna be the garden floor, which is usually occupied by a separate apartment, a rental, but they are gonna occupy this entire brownstone, and we're really excited because usually the ceiling's height on the garden floor are a little bit lower, which kind of creates a nice dark moody vibe, so we're really playing into that, and our whole design is based on this dark moody vibe. Let's head down. So technically there will be two rooms down here. Uh, they're gonna be utilized for workspace and also a home gym, and we're really excited for the library den. This is gonna be the workout room, um, a little office area here. It is uh, front facing, so we'll get better, better natural light here, but we are taking care of a big problem in the back here in the other room that we're gonna walk you through. This is the bathroom over here that, um, that cement tile is gonna go on the floor with that beautiful, like, green, vibrant Zalige tile on the walls here. It's gonna be really nice and bright. And then back here is gonna be a beautiful library den. We're painting it a really dark, moody blue, adding some wall moldings. And then this back over here will have floor to ceiling windows, the same Juliet windows that we're using on the parlor floor back here. So you're gonna get a lot of natural light here that will really help the flow of the light in this space. Guest bathroom is ready for tile as well. We're gonna have our freestanding tub. Uh, vanity toilet and we're gonna have these really cool Zali stripes that are gonna run on the floor and up the back wall. I'm really excited for this primary bathroom. It has a separate shower so the shower is gonna be framed all the way around with marble really nice spacious shower a little bench in there as well. Um, out here we have a double vanity we're gonna have wall molding on all of the walls we have a wall mounted toilet and check this out it's beautiful terracotta tile that's going on the floors so much time with the full team sourcing the perfect tiles from this Parisian inspired home and looking at them all cohesively together I think it's really spectacular and I think we all get that feeling that this house is going to be absolutely stunning. Starting on the garden apartment or excuse me the garden floor we have this gorgeous clay tile this is a cement tile, so we're gonna use the star and cross in this charcoal gray as the floor. And then we're gonna have a really bright contrasting wall tile. This is a Zalige, so the texture of it will be really um, radiant and I think it's just gonna really blend in beautifully with the cement tile on the floor. Moving upstairs, we have kind of two tones going against each other, which I'm really excited for. This is our first time doing this drastic of powder of the bathroom and we're doing a really nice white and then this really light green sagey color against it and these are going to be laid in a stripe um, stacked on top of each other and I think that pattern of the stripe will kind of draw your eye upward and it'll be pretty really cool. And over here we have the primary uh, bathroom and starting on the floor we have these gorgeous terracotta tiles so they're laid alternate in an alternate pattern so we have the uh, the white and then we'll have a, another white here and so they're going to create this gorgeous pattern with this beautiful like kind of painting to the terracotta. So that's going to be on the floor and on the walls in the shower area we're going to have this uh, sheeted one by four and this kind of creamy white color. Uh, so that's going to be really beautiful together and then uh, this is just inside the shower and then all the rest of the walls in the bathroom are actually going to be uh, have wall molding on them. So we're actually not going to have a tile at all and it's going to have this very rich molding on the walls. All right, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the vlog update at Carol Jardin. Make sure you subscribe below. Update three is going to happen sooner than you think and we can't wait to see this space finished. See you later, everyone. See you guys soon.